Greetings everyone, my name is Paul Stranger. Today we'll be back and welcome back to Surviving in Rust. As you probably noticed, I haven't done this for a while. Now as you can see, I got a new place. It's a scavenge house. And I'm currently with someone named Oh, hell. Let's see what I get. Barricade. Got my helmet. We have trip to. That's enough though. Oh, does he have any bones with him? Uh, so, what are you guys probably saying? Uh, what are you doing, Ranger? Well, we got the base up. Obviously enough though, I'm really hoping for a sheet metal door. Obviously enough though. Because, you know, door as, wooden door as it is, is kind of okay. But it's not strong enough as I'm really hoping for. A hundred metal fragments. So I've got to put all this stuff away. Let's go ahead and make that sheet metal door. I know it's pretty simple at the moment. A helmet made of bone. Oh. Well, we don't really have the bones. But I do know we need some form of protection. Feel a bit more safer. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the gloves. I'm gonna make that. That and holy shit. Yeah, so much to. Oh. Yes, I'm unlocking that. Get metal fragments. I'm going to wait. How much? Twenty forty. But yeah, it's good to be back in Rust, even though it has been a while since I last played it. So what's our goal? You probably answered again. Simple. Live. Um. Got a couple of arrows. Yeah, I, I just pretty much want to live as long as I can. I need to go and upgrade that. Oh. Must be the recorder because of the ping. Yeah, recording is making the ping probably... go but yeah it's pretty good so good so far but yeah this is our this is gonna be our permanent base obviously enough though um, ran into some funny moments unfortunately I wasn't recording when we were doing this oh god pimping all over the place but yeah you know, we got base out this was originally somebody else's but since they have abandoned it long ago um, but yeah, and we're doing a good on there. Yeah, we're doing all right, I guess. Wooden armor, not really that much of effective, really, for armor. But to be honest, I'd rather have some sort of armor protecting me rather than nothing. Yeah, I'll use up whatever wood we have. Hello. Yes, hello. Hello, who's in here? Hey, Polish Ranger. <laughs> Wait, 
Uh, I don't, I'm not going to shoot at you, are you? Are you the, I'm at the, the door and I... <laughs> I uh, yeah, it's me. I'll put my weapon away. Ah, it's good to see hey. you, good sir. Oh, you guys you got the base up. Nice. Dude. Yeah, I managed to get it up and running. It took a while to get everything, but we got it up and running. Yeah, my friend's logged yeah, out. Nice. But... Need any... Wait, yeah, it... Go on. Oh. Sorry? Oh, he locked out. Oh, okay. If you need anything, just uh, tell us. Dude. Will do. And thanks a lot. Thank well, good luck, dude. Yeah, he's a really nice chap. He actually helped us out. He was right behind, you know, our fr our friend and officer. I was like, oh god, uh, what can I make? Uh, I need to save it really. Right, we're gonna go out hunting. Yeah, we're pretty much armored up. Oh map. Yeah, that's what I need. Um, uh, papers. So useful to have. Map. But yeah. Goal simple. Um, made this big so it's a little harder to raid. I need to m make this sheet metal. So, yeah, as you notice, it's more health compared. I would. Uh, go and collect that in. But I will admit that it is very hard to play solo in Rust to see, and as a lot of people kill you on sight. What else do I want to unlock? Um, that's more going to prove useful for me. Um, what else? What else? I don't really know that much research to go. Ah, Gunpowder. And, you know, I'll go for the standard floor spikes and get that as well. It's going to help a lot in the long run. Whoops. Da -da -da -da. Bom. Wait, did I have the, the ability to craft a crossbow? Yes, I have. What all? Little fragments of cloth. I don't really have to wood. Well, I'm using that for cooking. No, I don't really have enough, really. The bow's good enough as it is, but the crossbow's much better. A little hemp here. Alright, let's go. Off to survival. Um, yeah, it's pretty good to be back in Rust. You know, playing a lot of other games, but this is really good. Tensions like when me and my friend were just scouting about, we was going for this all node, and then he got killed by a random kid. So I was pretty much retaliated back and killed him, and he got really pissy. And I think he say, "I was gonna kill you," or you know, something like that before you can finish his sentence, but, you know, that's what happens if you kill me, buddy. You shoot first and ask questions later, I'll shoot you back. But yet again, it's a pretty alright day, actually. So, made a new friend, teamed up, survived. Ran into the chopper, didn't kill me this time, obviously enough, though I wasn't that much of a geared. Compared to me now, yeah, we could take more of a couple of beatings. Hello there. That's him again. <laughs> yeah, I will say you're seeing more gear guys like him with the same armor and a pistol more common around here lately. As you, you probably all of you all remember the you know the metal chest plate and head and then AK 47s and bombties. They were very common. I'm just seeing more like the equipment that guy's wearing. Yet again, Rust is changing for the best, and obviously enough though, there's going to be some major changes on its way. Yeah. But 
but yeah, it's good to be back. I'm hopefully to have more fun times. It's just, you know, just me talking to you for a bit while I'm trying to survive, obviously enough though. And any tips for us you probably asked? Uh, I seriously recommend team up someone or actually have one of your friends to play with. Being solo is suicidal and very grind pain. And it's something you really don't want to do a lot. That would do on wood. Believe me, it's not really that worth it. Alrighty, righty. Go and have a look around. Ben, I don't know what's the point of looking in there, there's always nothing in there. Go and get this last one. Mouse being a bit funny there. Yeah, I've been in one of the new lighthouses, which was pretty cool, I have to admit. I know this is probably not like, oh god, why not fighting people? This is just pretty much an introduction of being coming back from Rust. You know, I'd uh, be laid back a bit. But, yeah, this would pretty much be the intro. If I run into anything interesting, I'll, I'll record it if I can. Let's head back. Obviously enough though, I seriously recommend if you have a certain amount of resources on you, you better, I say, get home immediately. Uh, Whose base is this? Oh, it's a simple 4x4. Four four. You don't really see all big bases these days in Rust. Also, uh, I have to admit that subscriber counts do great, Rat, like over 900, so we're not that far from getting to 4K. Yeah, I've run up some stuff here. Yeah. Oh, that's that a log, I thought it was a bear. Get mushrooms. Start getting resources just for the hell of it. But yeah, um, I have to say, but I'll be back going back to Rust. You'll be some seeing videos, and yeah, have all a great day.